When you started dressing like men and wanting to be men because your spirit began to change, you start to say, I can do what a man can do. But you can't. You do things that men do in a women's fashion. Cause do do women do women are women doing windmills in the WNBA? Hell no. <laughs> are women are women you say you play football, are women throwing 60 and 70 yard bomb Hail Marys down the field? No, they're not doing that. No, they're not doing that. <laughs> women ain't doing throwing 60, 70 yard. Are they doing that? No. Nah. Man, no, you ain't doing that. We know you ain't doing that. No, nah, some of them, the, the hardcore ones wear pants, right? We know you're not doing that. So what has happened is, what happened is when you change the way that you dress, it changed the spirit within you and you wanted to do what we do, even though you can't do it. But in your mind, you would say, anything you do, we can do as well. But actually, you can't. Women ain't going around bench pressing 350 and 500 pounds. Nah, you're not doing that. Because God said what? Go back to Romans 7, 14. Listen to this. For we know that the law is spiritual. The law is spiritual. When you break the laws of God, it changes the spirit within you. And you come out of the proper order that God wanted you to be in. And I don't know how long... I don't know how long since your spirit been changed, but one thing that God does with us as his children, the children of Israel, God always gives us a chance to change. It's called repentance in the Bible. We can always change no matter, Proverbs 24, 16, no matter how much wrong we have learned here in society under the, the rule of this white man celebrating Christmas and 4th of July and dressing like man and sleeping with women we women or sleeping with man when we are man or dressing like women when we are man. God said for all of that, you can still change because we his children. Now read that, Proverbs 24, 16. The book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Yep. For a just man falleth seven times. You might fall, slip up seven times. Read. And riseth up again. Does what? And riseth up again. So you might fall in your life seven times. Might be more than that. But God said if you righteous, if you his children, you'll get back up again. And get on the right, straight, and narrow path. But look at the flip side of that. Read. But the wicked. The what? But the wicked shall fall into mischief the wicked are going to stay in that sin right so if if you are a child of god your spirit bears witness that you are a child of god well then find out what god want his daughters to do and get on that line because we might enjoy the things that we do in the flesh but it's going to turn back into dirt one day and our soul is going to have to go back and meet our maker because the soul is eternal and we're going to have to answer for the things that we have done in our body hey. last scripture 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 now just before we leave I want to I want to awaken the spirit that's within you because I know the flesh is controlling many of us right now we live off the desire of the flesh to please that but we got to awaken the spiritual man that is inside of us because the spiritual man is what's going to stand before Christ 2nd Corinthians 5 and 10. The book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. I want y'all to understand it because we've been harping on this. This, this made up ass image of uh, Jesus Christ is not sitting in the heavens on a throne next to God. Right. That is make believe. Like Marvel movies and the damn Avengers. It is fake as hell. This is not who you're going to stand in front of. Right. You are going to stand in front of a man that looks more like this. Right. Might have different facial features. His hair might be a little bit longer. But the Bible says that he's a black man with woolly hair. And his eyes are red like a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes. When we drink, you know, it turns red. That's the man. A man that looks like this you're going to stand in front of. It ain't going to be this soft ass hippie looking dude that you're going to stand in front of. He goes, oh man, I forgive you for everything you've done in your body. Although you did nothing I told you to do on this world, I still love you. Enter into eternal life. It's not going to happen. That's a figment of black man's imagination given to you by white people. Read it again. 
For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. We're going to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Read. That everyone, I'm sorry, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Is what? In his body. Attention, sis. Hey, you're going to receive everything done in his body according to that he have done uh -huh. whether it be good whether it be good or bad or bad god is going to judge you for what you do with your body that he gave you he's going to judge you for it and he's going to judge you on what on the way you think you should live your life or the way he told you to live it which one you think he's going to judge you on there you go yeah, because he made you. He going to judge you on how you or what you did with the body he gave you. Because your life ain't yours. Tattoos, smoking, defiling your temple, getting drunk, whoremongering, lesbianism, sodomy, stealing, committing adultery, dietary lying, lying pork, shrimp, crab lying. He going to judge you from everything that is written in the book. Right. Revelation 21, and I think it's like 26 or 27, to show you what he's going to judge you on. Because Christianity has told you time and time again, this man, he has told you what? What do they tell When they give you this image, what do they teach you in church? They tell you what? Come what? Come as you are. You know it. Have you, have you ever read that in the Bible? No. It's nowhere in there. You can Google it on your phone. Come as ye are so in Bible. They came, they came up with it. Right. To get you into the church. And when you come to church, what do they tell you to do? Reach into your what? <laughs> Reach into your pockets and sow a seed. Although you are in the midst of all outright debauchery in the eyes of God. They say, come on in. God tell you, you can't even come to him if you are if you ain't repented he don't even want to hear your voice don't even pray because you are living how you want to live so why are you talking to him why call on god when you do what you want to do right figure that shit out for yourself right that's what god say figure it out for yourself now here's the proof revelation 21 and i think it's 27. yep read that revelation chapter 21 verse 27 yep. and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth <clears throat> neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the lamb's book of life 20 and right here that's what i want 20 and 12. there we go here we go revelation chapter 20 verse 12 and i saw the dead small and great stand before god that's what we just read in corinthians they're going to stand before jesus right read and the books were opened, uh -huh. and another book was opened, which is the book of life. Uh -huh. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. There you go. You're going to be judged what is written in your book by the book of the law. So we cannot do what we want to. We got to congregate. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!